I am in Kenosha, and this here is an abandoned Burger King restaurant. Um, it's not your classic blue roof Burger King, but nonetheless, it's an abandoned Burger King. It sits in probably not so nice neighborhood now. You got an abandoned Save a Lot, an abandoned Kmart, and a Dollar Tree where they don't have a restroom in there, and I gotta really go so badly. So, and none of the restaurants are open on the inside to where I can use a to use the bathroom. So let's go take a look at this abandoned Burger King. It makes it a little tougher to explore when you gotta eat in the car and everything, you know? So there's where the sign would have been for the Burger King, right there. And then another, there's a scar up there where the classic Burger King sign would have been. All right, let's go get some good window shots here of this class of this Burger King here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Wow, oh, looks like the thermostat was taken down or something there, sitting on the table there. It's like they're keeping up with the landscaping. Ooh, I see something else over there, I think. All right, so there's the inside. That's an interesting design in there at the, uh, at the counter there, them leaves up there, them tree with the leaves. Interesting. Some paw prints on the table too. I wonder what that represents. flowers here. I think that used to be a Walmart at one time, I think. So I, I've, I've been up here like once, and a long time ago I think that was a Walmart. So, if I'm wrong, let me know. There's the garbage cans in there still. It looks like all the chairs are gone from the table. Classic looking Wendy's sign over there. I guess I guess it is still open, but the sign is that's weird. Okay, I could yeah, I thought it was like closed because I saw an empty sign over there. That's interesting. Yeah, I'll have to check it. Okay, so it's a drive-through. The Coke machine is still in here. There's other places where there's Burger King. Uh, the fryers are still in there. <laughs> They're kind of dirty now. Need a little cleaning in there. Interesting. As I was doing the save a lot, I just saw like somebody like trying to go through the drive through here or something. I mean, all the signage is down and everything. <laughs> Ooh, somebody broke that window there. It's not cool. Yeah, it's not good. Yes, yeah, yeah, somebody was trying to come through the drive through and all the signage is all down and everything, trying to order something. Is this place still open? <laughs> oh, wow. There's a refrigeration unit. Okay. All right, so I'm in the drive through right now. So we got the menu board. It's the menu board, it's all emptied out. I 
there's where you would place your order and that's where they would confirm it with you. Another menu board flapping in the wind right there. Looks like it's all torn apart and everything. All the electrical wires and everything for the lights. That's probably where it would have said drive through. Eight foot clearance. the issue that truck drivers are having right now. They can't go in the drive throughs at a lot of restaurants. Most of them around the country are still closed. And their trucks are about 14 feet, so obviously they can't fit underneath the canopy. It's a garbage area here. Not getting in here. So, another sign that would say drive through, probably uh, Diet Coke. All right, then, so from this abandoned Burger King in Kenosha, Wisconsin, if you're not a subscriber to my channel. Please subscribe for a lot more content. I'm going to go use the bat find a bathroom now. <laughs> God bless you guys. Continue shopping at your local businesses and continue shopping at your local mall.